this is your tutorial of how to create your My Animal Report lap book. This is a completed um, lap book that I completed um, before, but I'm going to show you how we're going to put together these tabs. So first, you need to get your My Animal Report lap book um, packet. It should be stapled and you should have all the pages together. You will need a glue stick. If you don't have glue, you could improvise with a sticker or tape. Like, oh, I do have glue, so I'm going to use a glue stick. And you will need some scissors. Um, if you don't have scissors, um, maybe you could ask um, someone in your house if they can help you find them, someone to borrow them. Um, or you could get really, really crafty and even work on kind of tearing out. It's okay if it's not perfect. And you will also need um, your folded file folder. So first, I'm going to recommend first that we cut everything out and then I will show you where everything glues. So um, for cutting it out, you want to make sure you just do it a page at a time. You can go ahead and rip them apart if you want. Then you can even make something cool with the extras. So as you're working on this and cutting it out, you want to just try to stay on the black lines as best as you can. If you don't, like I said, doesn't need to be perfect. And then make sure you put all your pieces that you make off to the side. Um, if you even look on the directions on each page, it says where these are going to go. So if you don't want to cut them out all at once, you don't have to. Um, but that's going to be how I am doing it. And so these pages are going to be, um, are a little trickier when you cut them out. You're going to want to cut the big rectangle out first. And this is where you're going to, after we install this and you do some research, this is going to be where you write about your animal's appearance, their habitat, so where they live, their diet, so what they eat, and a couple interesting facts about your animal. And so this, even though there's a whole bunch of extra dotted lines and things, these actually stay a big rectangle because we're going to glue this part. We're going to actually fold it in half and I'm going to, and it says that direction on there. And then you're going to just cut these little slits right here. And ra I, rather than having to get my materials more than once, I'm just going to do everything in advance. Um, this next page is, an, is actually two little sections, so you're going to cut out two things. Um, you're going to cut out this first box that is a question, a place for a question you might have about your animal. And a box that says about the researcher. And guess what? You're the researcher. So that's where you're going to write a little bit of information about yourself. Like, I'm Miss Koski. I teach second grade at Riverbend. And I have a bulldog named Koa and a hound named Dipper. And my favorite color is blue. Um, and then this is where... Another page, because all good researchers want to do a work cited, this is where you're going to list at least um, one to three books or websites that you used to help complete your research. So because we are all at home right now, you might not have a ton of books on the animal you're going to research, so you might be doing them all on websites. And that is okay. um, so these are... 
four things that are going to go on the inside too. I know they say optional, but they are not optional. Um, we are going to use them. So for this one, they'll actually all four get cut out individually. So you can cut them out all at once. And I know watching me cut probably isn't the most fun thing, but we'll get there. Almost done. Just trimming it up a little bit. And so this one is a blank square, so make sure you actually put that, this one, in a safe spot because a lot of times blank paper can look like garbage and it's not. So make sure that in your pile of stuff, you don't accidentally use it. All right. All the cutting for me is done. Now I'm going to go ahead and get out my lap book. Wherever your tab goes um, is not... A big deal so I can have it at the top or I can have it at the bottom it's really not a big deal whichever way you feel good about so the first part I want to glue on is find your paper that says my animal report lap book and we're gonna glue that on this left hand side and if you don't have a glue stick like I said you could use um, tape or you could use um, stapler but you could also use drippy glue if you have drippy glue at home that could also work um, you just are going to want to be a little more sparingly with it so you don't make it too wet all right and then the second one you're going to find is this blank long sheet and that's going to go on your other side and on here is where you're going to draw a picture um, of your chosen animal in their habitat. And you're just going to smooth it out and then we're going to go ahead and open up the book and glue in these additional pages. So next you're going to find the one, the trifold that opens up in these three little extra areas and that's going to go on the inside, left hand side, um, behind your animal report. You only need to glue the back because this tab is meant to open. You need to be able to open it. of put together the few other ones there's a lot of loose papers um so next we'll actually work on this other tab side so your other flat side um and that's where you're gonna need your books you used for your research about the researcher and question that you have and I'm going to show you how I will assemble these in order, but really you can kind of put these in any order that you want. So I'm going to take my About the Researcher and I'm going to put it at the bottom because to me that's kind of something you read about at the end or the back of a book. Um, so I'm going to put it towards the bottom of this page. And then um, I'm going to put a question that I still have. Um, right in the middle and this one it was long and flat you want to fold it in half and you just want to glue this little back section because again it's kind of a fun little open up um, section and then last is going to be your books that you had that you use for the research and like I said most of ours will probably be done online but even if you're using epic and um, your 
using books off there, you would still cite and write the book that you read. So like all about sea turtles. Um, the next is we're gonna organize again. The order does not quite matter. You can do it however you want, but it should be a did you know section. I couldn't believe it when I learned this. Your picture you're going to draw, you're going to draw another kind of close-up or zoomed-in scientific photo, um, maybe with some science labels, and what I like best about this animal. So again, this is how I want to organize mine, but for this section, you can organize these in any order that you want. It just needs to have these four elements. Now, if you wanted to do your research and fill these out before you glue them on, that's also okay. Um, just make sure you don't lose any of the pieces. Um, gluing it on ahead of time, just make sure it's all in one place and it's kind of already built and put together. Um, so that's why I like to glue it on first, but sometimes, especially for the drawing ones, um, it can be a little bit easier to draw on it before it's glued on, um, but it's really up to you. So, my animal report lap book on the front, these pages on the inside, and these might get crinkled when you fold it open and close because they kind of fold and that's okay. Um, and that is what your finished lap book lo looks like. The back will be blank, and if you complete the writing portion of this, um, the back is where we're going to attach our writing um, report, our additional um, report that we can make. Um, but if you just do the tabs on the inside, um, this is exactly what your book will look like. So this is your how-to on putting together your animal lap book um, template. I hope this was helpful. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys create and what animals you report on.